welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the elder scrolls online i hope we're all doing well um so we're finally doing it guys we're finally assaulting cold harbor um but yeah uh so in the last episode uh i had to do the the rest of the um story on another character so from here all the way you know in this general area basically uh i had to do a lot of quests on my other character my tank character my dungeon character or my character uh dungeon alt whatever it was um so it took forever but you know still but i'm back on my templar so now we need to go to uh, talk to Thrush in Mournhold. So let's go do that. Where is this person? Uh, and that has to do with the quest. I'm not going to do that quest yet. Because I believe... Over here! I just need a moment of your time! Nope, 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 nope. If it isn't the hero of the pact, glad you made it. I don't believe we've met. I'm the leader of the Hidden Armagers. If you've heard of us, we haven't been doing our jobs. The Armagers do the pact's dirty work. Sometimes that involves agents from the Morag Tong and other secret organizations, like Naryu here. Why would assassin? Why why would you need an assassin? She owes me a favor. It's a long series of stories we don't have time for. She saved my brother. I saved her life. We're back and forth. Mm. That's it for story time. You're here about Varnus Galarian? Yes, I am. That crazy Altman wants to organize a secret meeting of the Alliance leaders in neutral territory. He'll be here any minute, so I'll let him give you the details. But don't worry. The Armagers will do our part. What's your part? Little details. Making sure the right agents are in the right places. Protecting packed interests. That sort of thing. I could tell you more, but then Naryu would want to kill you. Or maybe just cut on you a little. Turns out I'm glad you came, Virian. I'm calling in that favor. You mean you called me here without knowing if you needed me, Thrush? Ugh. What's the favor? I need you to contact the other spy networks. The eyes of the Queen of the Old Mary Dominion and the Ring of Daggers in the Daggerfall Covenant. Contact. You do me with the tips of my daggers. Repeatedly. Right? No, no. This is a diplomacy thing. No killing. Apologies for my lateness. Waste of a favor, Thrush. Should have asked for something your lackeys couldn't do. We're even after this, you know. I know, but this is important. Thanks, Nariu. I'll even ride with you as far as Oridon. Let's go. Thank you for coming so quickly, champion. I've been consulting with Countess Hakruba of the Fighters Guild. Both of our guilds believe the time has come to take the fight to Cold Harbor. But this places us in a delicate political position. What's the problem? Trust, as always. The Alliance leaders will never agree to join forces. And if our guilds only work with one Alliance, the other two will see it as a betrayal. For both guilds, our neutrality is our strength. We can't afford to take sides. In this situation, is the situation really that dire? The war in Cyrodiil has been long and bloody. And all three alliances are spread thinly. They can't commit resources to an assault on Cold Harbor without making themselves vulnerable. 
I want to bring all three leaders together. Maybe cut a deal. What do you need me to do? You're in a unique position. You can speak with authority, but you're not an Alliance leader. You're respected. You have a reputation. They may let you get a word in before they leap at each other's throats. In short, you're the perfect diplomat. So you want me to speak with the Alliance leaders, huh? I found the perfect meeting place. A neutral location far from disputed territories. Is it really that neutral, Stark. though? I can get you an audience with each leader and provide magical transportation. You just need to convince them to travel to Sturk. All right, I'll do my best. That's all I ask. I'll open the portal. I think it's best that I travel with you and make introductions as a neutral party. That might make things easier. Holy crap, I'm in Elden Root. Greatly esteemed Queen Irene Arana Aldmeri, it is my great honor to present to you... Vanus, you're so formal. I remember the patience and kindness you showed an awkward, freckled waif all those years ago on Fair Somerset. You captured this child's heart then, and it remains with you to this day. You warm an old man's heart, my queen. I remember well those halcyon days. As do I, my old friend. Sorry about all these guards. I'm told they're necessary. These are dark days. A wise precaution, my queen. My counsel would be no different. If you'll permit it, my companion would like to speak with you. Ah, yes. Let me meet this hero I've heard so much about. It's not often the heroic deeds of one who by all rights should be considered a mortal enemy reach my ears. Come, let's talk. Vanus is a dear man. In many ways, he is family to me. Since he has given you his trust, I'm willing to set aside our differences. But under different circumstances, you and I would be sworn enemies. My only sworn enemy is Molag Ball, Your Majesty. Well spoken and point taken. To be perfectly honest, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to meet you. Your exploits are legendary. You heard of me. A true champion is like a stone cast upon the waters of history. The ripples it creates travel far and wide. I'm, I'm humbled. Humility is a noble thing, but you must also remain strong and self-assured. A true champion is also history's pawn, and history is a cruel and unfeeling master. But enough philosophy. What did you wish to speak with me about? I've come to propose a meeting on the island of Sturk uh, uh, to, to discuss an assault to, on Cold Harbor. And you need all three of the Alliance leaders to attend this meeting. A bold suggestion. I like it. Very well. I make no promises with regards to the negotiations themselves, but I will attend. That much, I promise. Okay. That went well, I think. Shall we move on? Where, do, where to next? To Wayrest. Expect a certain level of formality. The court of High King Emmerich is often filled with scandal mongers and subversives. Therefore, protocol is the order of the day. Shall we? Shall. Tell the lovely Donmer, Naryu, that she is very welcome to disguise herself as a serving girl and show off for this one. Just got her caught red handed. Esteemed High King Emmerich, I thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I would not presume to waste your time without good reason. We've known each other for some time, Master Galerion. You aren't known for your capricious whims. Tell me, though, who is your companion? Your Majesty, this is Scald King Yorin's personal representative, here to speak with you about the impending Cold Harbor crisis. The Scald King sends his personal champion into his enemy's stronghold? Either he has a lot of faith in you, or he's trying to get you killed. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Come, let us speak. Debella's legs, but you are a bold one. 
Even the bards of Wayrest sing of your exploits. I must confess, I had hoped to meet you one day. We sharpen our blades on the same whetstone, if you take my meaning. It's an honor, Your Majesty. Tell me then, is it madness that drives you to barge in here like this? Or perhaps you're here to surrender on behalf of your people, if that's the case. I accept. I've come to talk about Molag Ball. That's a bit of a dreary subject, but I prefer that over some angry line like, I've come here to kill you, Your Majesty. I'm glad <laughs> you didn't say that. So you want to talk about everyone's favorite Daedric prince then? What of him? Molag Ball's influence grows. It, it's time we took took the fight to his realm. Ha! I'm sorry. I think I must have misheard you. For a moment, I thought you were saying you wanted to battle a Daedric prince. That would be especially funny if you wanted my help. So, what was it you really meant to say? I propose all the alliance uh, alliances meet meet on the island of Sturk to discuss the uh, an assault on Cold Harbor. <laughs> that would be utter madness. But I do like the thought of seeing that next to my name in the history books. All right. If Iren and Yoren agree to attend, I'll be there. If this is an assassination attempt, though... Why would it be an assassination attempt? attempt? I don't get it. I, I, I don't understand. I went, well, okay. I didn't think it possible. Well done! We must return and begin the preparations. Let's go. We have much to do. Come. Just so you know, I already knew that. Oh, I love to mingle, your majesty. I'm gonna mingle their heads right off their necks one of these days. Interesting. All three leaders have agreed to join us on Sturk. Now comes the tricky part. That wasn't the tricky part? Individually, the leaders are rational, even reasonable. But get them together and, well, you'll see soon enough. All right. Everything's been prepared. Are you ready to travel to the summit? Sure. Then, with your permission, I'll open the portal to Sturk. May Oriel's hand guide us all. All right, open the portal. The word has been given. A moment, please. I'll wait for you on the other side. Our representative, Captain Alfari, is in charge of security on Sturk. I might make this a short episode. Welcome to the island of Sturk. Representatives from all three alliances are gathering at the meeting place. It's just up ahead, through the ruins. And have the alliance leaders arrived already? I'm told they'll be arriving at the meeting site by portal any moment. After all the bloodshed in Cyrodiil, I fear the leaders won't be quick to trust one another. Perhaps you can help them see the wisdom in cooperation. I'll do my best. I don't envy you the task. We've already assembled quite a team of experts for the Cold Harbor invasion itself. I'll try to introduce you to some of them on the way to the meeting. Lead on. Two kings and a queen with barely a thimble of patience between them. Reaching a compromise will be no small task, I promise you. Look, it is it's not Lady Laurent. Get lost. Careful with that, you clumsy fool. Do hurry it up. We're missing everything. I never weary of your charms, Lady Laurent. That is Galarian as I live and breathe. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I had no idea the summit was to be held on the legendary island of Sturk. It seemed a fitting choice. It was here that the leaders of the First Era assembled the All Flags Navy to do battle with the Slode. I can't wait to see what surprises Molag Ball's realm has in store for us. We are waging war, not embarking on a sightseeing expedition, milady. 
Fear not, Vanus. I can take care of myself and my useless lump of a manservant. Stibbins! I don't care who you are. Farewell, milady. We must dash. We're expected at the summit. Wonderful. It's Tallinger. Here's Tellinger, the artificer himself. Must it always take a crisis to pull you away from your toys, Telly? Vanus, your robes smell of failed experiments and your words of failed wit. Tell me, Telly, what Dwemer rubbish pit did you crawl out of this week? You really must learn to respect your betters, old friend. Do let me know when one happens by, won't you? I don't have the time or the energy, Tellinger, so I'll bid you good day. Nice. Getting the leaders to cooperate will be no small task. I hope you're up for it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The captain in charge of security, Alfari, is over there. Captain Alfari, has the island been secured? Aye. All ships in the area have been diverted away from the island. And the wards are in place. And the Alliance leaders? They'll be here any moment. You three should get over there as soon as you can. We're on our way. Thank you, Captain. We must make haste. I'm just gonna take my sweet time. High King Emmerich of the Daggerfall Covenant. Queen Iran of the Old Merry Dominion. Joran Skald King of the Ebonheart Pact. We must put aside our differences and work together, or this assault is doomed from the start. How do we know this isn't a ruse? A clever plan to divert our forces while your armies take the Imperial City. I thought backstabbing was your favorite tactic, Emery. Please, are you both so arrogant? Your weapons are children's toys compared to the horrors that Molag Baal commands. I will not wager the future of my people on the word of a snow barbarian and an adolescent female. I fear for Tamriel's future if either of you were to sit upon the ruby throne. Since when do you care about your people? You never lift a finger except to count your gold. Please, my lords, this bickering is pointless. What a waste of time. Obstinate fools, both of you. What a mess. Apologies, Vanus, but I'm going to check on my lion guard. This is going about as well as I expected, unfortunately. How can we make, make them see reason? Even if we can get them to stop bickering, they'll never agree to send troops to Cold Harbor. That would leave Cyrodiil unprotected. The guilds can lead the attack, only if the leaders, the three leaders agree. An interesting idea, but they need to stop bickering long enough to consider it. Why don't you visit each of them in their camps? See if you can reason with them individually. Intractable fools. Their pride will see us all dead. Is the Fighters Guild any different? We've served as the first line of defense against Molag Baal's invaders, destroying his dark anchors all across Tamriel. They've succeeded in reducing their ranks and leveling half of Cyrodiil. What do you think? Would the Fighters Guild be willing to invade Cold Harbor? Willing and able. But, like the Mages Guild, we are constrained by a non-interference pact. The alliances will only tolerate our presence in their realms if we remain neutral. Unless all three Alliance leaders consent to it, our hands are bound. Yep. I tried, but these thick-skulled bastards will not see reason. We need to cooperate, my king. But what about the war in Cerrado? If I commit troops to this invasion, the pact will be vastly outnumbered there. What if we send the guilds to Cold Harbor? 
wizards and mercenaries against the Daedric hordes. Without the Ebonheart Pact, they do not stand a chance. Both guilds have experience fighting Daedra. They may be our best chance. <laughs> you make some sense after all. I will support this foolish plan if you can convince the other leaders. All right. And off to Queen A. Ren. Euron is being stubborn out of spite. He's your king. Can't you reason with him? There is an alternative. Is there? What did you have in mind? We could send the guilds to get to Cold Harbor. Hmm. Perhaps. But we don't know enough about Cold Harbor to fully understand what they'd be up against. I don't see any other option. Nor do I. But I'll agree to nothing until I've conferred with my advisors. Now go annoy the others. I've had enough. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't really intimidate the queen. That's not smart on my part. I'm trying to get them to see reason, not 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 do anything stupid. Your scald king has all the patience of a bullet mating season. This is a negotiating table, not a battlefield. Can't you talk some sense into that thick head of his? I have a suggestion. That's more than I'm getting from them. What do you suggest? Send the guilds into Cold Harbor. I don't doubt their commitment or their bravery, but they are few. And Molag Baal's followers are legion. The guilds have considerable experience finding danger. Arke's beard, you're a bold one. But you may be right. If you can convince the barbarian and the child queen to agree, I'll consider it. Any luck, or are they still at an impasse? They're considering the idea, but they're not convinced. I hope they come to their senses soon. We're going to lose the element of surprise. They don't trust each other. With very good reason, but the sooner they come to an agreement that... Does the air feel strange to you? That's odd. All of a sudden it feels like a storm is approaching. Storm? Venice, what's wrong? I have an ill feeling about this. Uh, let me guess. More like ball. He has arrived. I can't. Caldian, what's happening? Go. Get away from me. Run. These are the great leaders of Tambia. Pathetic. <laughs> but how convenient to have them gathered together in one place so I can crush them like insects. Molag Ball! Stay back, Countess! The insects fight back! How amusing! And yet, so very sad. All of Nern shall be mine. Guards. This is all they send to kill me. Truly?
Forgot to close the rifts. Ha 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 ha. We're safe here, hidden from the enemy. The god of schemes grows more powerful by the day. Then we must act quickly. Agreed. There's no time to waste. We must take the fight to him. Can you open a portal? Yes, at the Aeliad Well at the center of the island. Perhaps the attack will convince the leaders to cooperate? After that terrible display of power, I don't think they have much choice. Honored leaders, you have seen the face of our enemy. Molag Ball threatens every living being in Tamriel. The Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild have agreed to join forces to launch an assault on Cold Harbor. Trust in us. Sanction our actions. Give us your blessings. We will not let you down. Vanos is right. The guilds are our best and only choice. Send them to Cold Harbor. I hate to admit it, but I agree with Emmerich. As do I. It appears that much of the distrust between our alliances was sown and nurtured by the God of Schemes. Molag Bal thrives on deception and chaos. But if you'll forgive me, this alliance war is of your own making. Countess Akruba, gather the surviving members of both guilds in the Stark interior. The Champion and I will go there now to open the portal. We'll be right behind you, Vanus. The time has come, champion. Let's go! Stand up, protect us all! as ready as we shall ever be is this everyone unfortunately yes it's not the massive army we'd hoped for but now that Molag Ball knows we're coming a smaller group might be our only hope of slipping into cold harbor undetected let's do this it's difficult to predict where you will emerge once you reach cold harbor be on your guard my friend to Cold Harbor. Hello, what's this? Cadwell. Survive then, have you? Jolly good, jolly good. Where is everyone? Rotten luck. They arrived in Cold Harbor, but in entirely different locations. Bloody unpredictable. Portals to oblivion. Not to mention Molog Ball's defenses. Nasty beasties abound. Off you go. Over the bridge and head inland. There's a good chap. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. What's across the bridge? What bridge? Is there a bridge? Tricky things, bridges. Tend to have all kinds of hideous creatures living beneath them. Except that one over there. That one leads to the Hollow City. Hollow City. Dreadfully dull place. And a real eyesore, if you ask me. But I suppose it's where you want to start your quest. Quest! What a simply fabulous word. Quest. Quest. Quest! I just love how it rolls off the tongue. Nice. Right, I'll head to the Hollow City. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. Welcome to the beautiful gardens of Cold Harbor. Do have a look around. Lovely day for it. Soak up the ambiance, the grandeur. I have the oddest feeling we've discussed this before, or did I already mention it? No matter. I am Sir Cadwell, the undaunted Knight of the Court of Cold Harbor, champion of chivalry, defender of the defenseless, 
shepherd to the soul shriven. Uh, am I not speaking the common tongue of Nern? I was once fluent, but time does get on. Did I? I don't recall that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna um, talk to Cadwell. Alright, uh. Well, I could do one of two things. I could end the episode here. It's been a 30 minute episode, but I, I, I kind of figured since I am in Cold Harbor, technically, uh, um, let's see, the Hollow City will lead me to all of these places. Cliffs of Failure. So I think the Cliffs of Failure will lead me to this. And then... Um, yeah, I think I'll leave Cold Harbor for another episode. Um, I'll focus next time on these locations and everything like that because we're going to need all the help that we can get. Great shackle. Anyways. Yeah, so I'll uh I'll leave you I'll, I'll leave the episode there. Um yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed this episode. We are finally in Cold Harbor and on the home stretch. After Cold Harbor, I will be doing the main quest and possibly live streaming um, Ordon and um, no, not um, what was it? Ordon and uh, basically the Aldmeri Dominion and the uh, and the uh, Daggerfall Covenant. So look out for that if you know if I decide to live stream at all. So, anyways, yeah, so. Hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. And that's about it. See you.